Hello. Hello, Joe. Hey guys, how are you? Good. All right, we're just waiting for everybody to join right now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, looks like we have a full class today. Cool. Hi guys, my name is Joe, and today we are going to be talking about basic vocabulary related to the bedroom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a few pictures. Um, you're going to learn a few words, and uh, hopefully by the end of this you should know a lot more vocabulary related to the bedroom. So before we do that, um, i just like everybody to introduce themselves and say your name, your the country you're from, and your birthday. So I'll start first. My name is Joe. My bir um, I'm from the United States, and my birthday is on January 11th. And so we'll start from the left. So, Bermil, you're first. Hi, my name is Bermil. I'm from Dominican Republic. Uh, my birthday is, a, is on February 1st. February 1st. Cool. Yeah. Okay, Erdman. Uh, I'm Erdman. I am from Turkey. Uh, my birthday is uh, July uh, 30. July 30th. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Junaid. Uh, hi guys, my name is Junaid. I'm from Iraq. Uh, I live now in the United States, Arizona. My birthday is July 7th. July 7th, cool. Okay, Newman. Newman, can you hear us, Newman? Okay, sounds like Newman cannot hear us. Um, Oziel? Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm from Brazil. I'm sorry, I didn't remember the questions you made. I was. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, um, so your name, the country you're from, and your birthday. Okay, I'm Jose Allen from Brazil. Yeah, I was born in April 5th. In, okay, April 5th. Cool. April 5th, yeah. Okay. okay, Peter? Yes, morning, everyone. Here, here is morning. <laughs> uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm from Taiwan. My birthday is um, uh, June 20th. June twentieth. Okay. That actually, is not my uh, true birthday because uh, because uh, when at that time, okay, my 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 mother was sick, and and then uh, she doesn't have time to, <laughs> to register in in the in, okay in the unit. So ah. so uh, it's until until maybe uh, two months later, and my grandma. Because my mom died, and my grandma oh. uh, registered. Okay, so okay. that's that. My true birthday. My true birthday should be on uh, April eighth. April eighth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Rodri, can you hear us? Rodri. Okay. Uh, Salim. Hello. Can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. But your, your picture is <laughs> you're up, you're upside down. <laughs> yeah. That was for comedy. Okay, my name is Salim. I'm from Turkey. Just change your camera. And when I was born, I couldn't remember when I was born. That was so nice day. So I, I don't know when when I was born. So you don't know your birthday. So when do you celebrate your birthday? Every day. Every day. <laughs> because, because that's some, pre that's pretty cool. Someone celebrate celebrate is every day. Every day is your birthday. Wow. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Cool. And where are you from? What country? I'm from Turkey and we li I, I live in Istanbul. You like Istanbul? Yes, Istanbul. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah, that's really good. Awesome. Okay. Happy birthday again. Cool. <laughs> Sam. Hello. Samuel. Hi. Yeah. 
etc. Uh, I'm from Colombia and my birthday is on November 18th. November 18th. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Hello. Thank you, Jeremy. Who? Yes, Rodri. Is that you? Uh, yes, yes. Me. Uh, I, I'm Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Uh, I'm from Peru. Peru. Uh huh. Uh, and my birthday is on uh, March. In March what? Uh, 29th. March 29th, and you're from Peru, right? Yes. Peru. Okay, cool. Welcome. All right. Glad you guys are all here today. So today, um, we're like I said, we're going to be talking about bedroom vocabulary. So this is going to be kind of easy. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and then <clears throat> we're going to look at some pictures, and I'm going to teach you guys some new vocabulary words. And the way it's going to work is I'm going to use my mouse to point to the 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 things that I'm telling you the words for in English and if you don't know them try to repeat them because then you'll memorize them better and if you do th know them um, then just try and follow along with us so I'm going to do that right now okay so can everybody see this yes okay can you just just a second it's just me or everybody is listening to this echo it's so annoying you know? the echo oh yes it could be if um, somebody's, if you're not using headphones, try and grab headphones real quick, because sometimes uh, the the classroom will pick up, or your microphone will pick up the noise from the classroom, and so then everybody else will hear that. So if you have headphones, try and grab those. Okay. Yeah. So sorry about that, Oziel. Okay. So everybody can see this picture, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna pull up. A new document so that I can write the words as I tell you guys them. So I'll have this um, over here on the right, and everybody can see this too, right? Yes. Okay. Joe, give me a second, please. Sorry. Yes. Okay. So while we're giving, I don't know who that was, a second. Um, do you guys have any questions about anything related to English that I can answer while we're waiting? Any anybody have any questions about anything? About this picture? Oh, not not about this picture. I was just saying. Um, do Do you have any questions about English or anything you're confused about? Because uh, oh. we're waiting for somebody. I'm think I'm guessing they're oh. grabbing headphones. Oh. So if you guys, I don't know, have any questions, I can answer. Mm -hmm. um, how are you guys' days going so far? Everybody having a good day? Yes. Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm thankful for for my waiting. Okay. Good, yeah. good. That's good. I'm having a good day too. Here it's uh five oh nine in the afternoon. At, at nine o'clock I'm I'm going to, to work. To work? Ah, okay. So what time is it where you, what time is it where you are? Uh it's my in the, in the local area in the, in the industrial area. Industrial area. Ah, okay. Interesting. Cool. So, um, we're just waiting. I think for Edmund, right? I think he went to get headphones real quick. Um, but what do you guys think about the the classes? What do you guys think about these English classes? Is there anything you dislike, or is there anything? Um, you're really excited about, or you'd like to see in the future? Any thoughts? Yeah, the, I think this class is uh, is quite uh, convenient for for people to learn to practice their English. Yeah, but, I think. But I think uh, so too. there are some um, some weaknesses. I think uh, yeah. it, it may be improved. For example, uh, the the noise. Uh, which made made by 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 some you know some participant they yeah they, they make noise I don't know why why they make make noise I sometimes it, it it's uh, from the microphone or some 
another I'm the other 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 things, but uh, it can be avoided. I, I, I think. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah, sometimes people their microphones are really sensitive, so mm -hmm. like maybe they're maybe if you tap on them, like I don't know if you can hear that. Like I'm tapping on my yeah, microphone yeah. right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think of uh, if the old guys mute the, the microphone and when you talk you can turn on your microphone and talk. That would be can that, for German, German as well, I think. What was that? I think the sound the noise comes from Erman. From Erman, is he Yeah, I think Oh he maybe it was him. Well, um it's already been about five minutes. I mean, I hate to move on without him, but, you know, I hate to make you guys waiting because, you know, we're waiting on one person. So we'll wait like a like one or two more minutes. But that's, that's a very good point. Maybe what we could do is in the future we can make it so, like, everybody's microphone is muted. And then, you know, when, when it's their turn to talk, they click a button and then their microphone's unmuted and they can talk. Because, yeah, it's sometimes a problem because, you know, people live close to trains, close to roads, so you hear trains in the background, you hear dogs barking, you hear cars, and it's sometimes hard to hear the teacher. Mm. Any any other thoughts? I mean, anything else I you guys also, like? Also, the time. The time, I the think. Time. Uh, yeah, it's uh, too few, uh, yeah. few one hours. You uh, think You think it should be longer than an hour? Yeah. How long do you think? How long would you stay if it was? I don't know, but uh, more the instructor they uh, use the first time to introduce the people. So this is take fifteen minutes, maybe sometimes ten minutes. Okay, you think? So I I don't know the time. Maybe two hours or one hour and a half. I think one hour. Uh oh, you got muted. Can you, um, Junaid, Junaid, we can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, now uh, I think uh, Rodri got my, my microphone. And depend also depend on the, uh, on the topic of the class. Some topic needs one hour, and the other topics need more than one hour. Uh-huh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, Vivian, somebody, some Vivian on the right said, um, Maybe more than one class at a, at the same time. I think that would be really cool too, because you know we have like right now it tells me that there are twenty three people watching the class. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that includes you guys who are in here, um, but yeah, I think that just just looking at that, you know, there's definitely enough people to offer two classes. Um, so I think I think that that's. And I think uh, Rodri mute you, Joe. Yeah, he. Did, yeah, I. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. Well. Uh, sorry for blocking. That's okay. Uh, that's just, okay, Rodrigo. Uh, I'm just exploring the function. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I can. Hello, Gukman, Gukan. How do you pronounce Hello. your name? Guk Gokan. 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 Okay, yeah. so I don't know where Ehrman is or whoever we were waiting for, but we're just going to move on because it's already been 15 minutes, and I want to help you guys get through this and learn these these words. No. Okay, so can everybody see this picture that I have up? Yes. Okay, so like I said right here, I'm going to be writing the words on the left. So, so I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to start with this thing right here, this white thing. Does anybody know what this is? Is that closer? Temperature? Yes, it controls the temperature. Good job, whoever said that. It's called a thermostat. So it, so any any time that I say a word that you don't know, try to repeat it after me because if you repeat it and say it out loud, then you'll memorize it better. But if you already know it, then you don't need to repeat it out loud. So. This thing right here is called a thermostat. Thermostat. Thermostat, uh-huh. So then right here, these are the light switches. So that's what turns on and off the light. So you can flip it up to turn the light on, flip it down, turn the light off. Um, so those are called light switches. Um, then this, okay, so I'm going to zoom out. So what you're looking at right here, this is basically a closet. Yes, closet. 
Uh huh. So closet like that. So I have my clothes on this uh, bar, and these things that hold my clothes, like hold my T-shirts, those are called hangers, like that. Hey, hang hangers. Yeah. Uh huh. Are you writing? Yeah, I'm. I'm writing it on the left. Can you see the the document that I have open? Yeah. It's here. Uh, uh, when on the train, they, they are the hangers too, right? Hangers, all right. right. For passengers. Hold, hold on, Peter. I'm, I'm going to fix it because somebody's telling me that you can't see it, so I'm going to make it so that you can. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you for pointing that out. Okay. So we have thermostat, light switches, closet, and hangers. And, and, or, and, and. Yes. Did anybody else have a question? Oh, I just asked about the hangers. Yes. What about the hangers? I, uh, when taking the MRT on, on the train, there are you know people if they don't have the seat to sit down, they they you know they they, they will they will pull the hanger right. Oh wait, if somebody doesn't have a seat on a train, then they hold on to a hanger. Is that what you're talking about? Where they stand up? Yes. Yeah, th those are, um, you could just call those like, I would just call those a, like handles, like handles Handle. on the train. Yeah, like that, handles. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, good question. Okay, um, <clears throat> moving on. So these, so where there's a bottom and it holds things, that's called a shelf. Shelf. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I have two yeah. shelves in my closet. And so I have all of these clothes on hangers, and then down here, this is where I put my dirty laundry. Just I just call it like dirty laundry basket. Okay, basket. Okay. Yeah, it's a basket. Uh huh. Okay. Dirty laundry basket. And so laundry is um <clears throat> your dirty clothes. Like what goes inside of this after I'm done for the day and I go shower, I put all my dirty clothes in here, and that's called my laundry. Mm hmm. So, like, for example, if you wash your clothes, it's called doing your laundry. So somebody might say, hey, I need to go do my laundry. Mm -hmm. So that's a common saying. Um, uh, let's see, what else do I have in this picture? Um, I just have a box here, some folded shirts, um, shoes. I think that's it for, oh, well, the only other thing I can think of is this right here is called the door frame. So that's where the yeah that's where the door is like like basically when you shut the door the door goes into the door frame so this right here is called the door frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. So now I'm going to erase all these words and I'm just going to test you guys. So we'll start from the left, which I can't I can't see. Okay, we have bed meal. Okay. So um, what is this thing called? This white thing on the wall. Some of that. Thermostat. Temperature. Temperature. Yes. So I'm just going to move it from left to right. I'll just ask you guys individually. Um, but yes, it's called the thermostat. Good job. Okay. Um, Edmund, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. What is this called right here? What are these called? Uh, I don't know. Can anybody help them out? Light switches. Light switches. Light switches. Light switches. Light switches. Yes, light switches. switches. Yeah, so I'm just going to write that real quick. Light switches. Light switches. Uh huh. Okay, um, who do we have next? Uh, we have Gokan. What, yeah. what are these called that hold the shirts or the clothes? Hanger. Uh huh, good yeah. job. Yeah. Okay, um, Junaid, what is this called? This is the laundry uh, basket. Yep, perfect. Good job. Okay. Um, looks like we have somebody new. Kair, is that how you, how you pronounce your name? Yeah, Kair Dean. Kair Dean. Okay. Okay. Cool. Welcome, uh, Uh What is this called? This thing where the door goes. The there that I guess holds the door. What is it? This this thing that I'm pointing to right now, do you know what this is called? No, I think uh, the border of the door. Yes, close, but there's a word for it. Uh, I don't know. Does anybody, can anybody help him out? 
Okay, door I, frame. it's called door, door, like, yeah, door, door frame. frame. Door frame. Door Good frame. job, everybody. Door yep. Frame. Door frame. So, um, did you get that? Oh, okay. Okay. Door frame. Yep. Good job. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we have one more thing in this picture. So, Peter, what is this called? Where? This this thing that uh, is it holds this box and these shirts. What is shelf. this? Shelf. Good job. Uh huh. Perfect shelf. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And then I think one more. Um, Rodrigo, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. What is this entire space called? Like this thing right here. Um, the closet. Yep. Good job. Uh huh. So those those are all um, those are all the words for this picture. So we'll move on to the next. Okay. So this is another part. This is these are all pictures of my room too. <clears throat> so it's a little dirty. <laughs> but um yeah so we'll start again um I'll pull up this for the words and starting with this this is called this whole piece right here is called this piece of furniture is called um a dresser then uh the dresser has three things which these things are called drawers then I have a drawer right here, and this thing, which opens up and I can shut it, it's called a cabinet. Oops. Cat. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Cabinet. Cabinet. Uh-huh. Then over here, this can either be called uh, a trash can or a waste basket. Either or. Um, then this blue thing right here is a, is a desk lamp. Um, then this chair with wheels on it is called a rolly chair. I'm not sure. Yeah, rolly chair. Let's see. I, I think I spelled that. Well, that's how I would spell it. I don't know what the correct spelling. I guess it's that rolly chair like that. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm not sure how to spell that. Um, sorry about that, guys, but. But that's called a rolly chair. If somebody says, like, hey, can I sit in your rolly chair? Well, they'd probably say, can I sit in your chair? But if there are multiple chairs, then somebody might say, hey, will you pass me the rolly chair? Because <clears throat> it has wheels on it. Um, then this thing over here. Um, so you can kind of see it. It's this white. It's called a power strip. And what it is is you plug in. So, like, if you need to charge your laptop, you need to charge your camera, um, your your iPhone or anything, it's called a power strip because it has multiple plugs. Yes. Or multiple, sorry. Um, it's It has multiple outlets. Those are what those are called. So, like, when you plug in your um, phone into the wall when you need to charge it, um, it's called an outlet. Outlet, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, let's see what else I have. So, uh, just some other things. So I have these are called bowls. Um, I'll put this over here. So we have bowls, plates, uh, rags, towels. I have a knife. Cut that thing right there is called a cutting board. Um, just plastic container, tub tubbleware. How do you spell? Uh, no, how do you? Uh, tubbleware. How do you? I think I spelled that. Wrong. There we go. Tubbleware. <clears throat> so that's tubbleware. Uh, you have your mugs, picture frame. I have a whiteboard right here. Um, water bottle, dry erase marker. Dry erase marker. Um, I don't know what the the technical name of this is, but what it is is it slides out, and it's a hard surface for you to write on, so it just gives you more, basically, more table space. And so then this, right here where, where my chair is, this thing, this uh, piece of furniture is called a desk. So that's where I do my homework. That's my desk. So I think that's it um, for those words. So, 
Does anybody have any questions, real quick? Okay. So we'll do the same thing yeah. again. Yes. Yeah. The bowls. Yes. The, it's these the are same, it's same like dishes. I can say dishes. Bowls, dishes. Yeah, like you usually dishes refers to like a collection of bowls and plates. But if you're talking, mm -hmm. like if you're talking about, like if you were sitting in my chair right here, and you and you wanted one of these, you would say, "Hey, will you pass me a bowl?" Instead okay. of, "Hey, will you pass me a dish?" Because if you okay. said, "Hey, will you pass me a dish?" that sounds funny. Okay. Uh, good question. A any other uh, questions? You okay. didn't mention about your laptop. Yes, laptop. That's my laptop. Uh huh. That's what I'm using right now. Excuse me. Which one is the rolly chair? The rolly chair is this. So you see, I'll zoom in. Yeah. Because it has wheels on it. So that's why it's a rolly chair, because it's a chair with wheels, so it rolls. Wow, yeah, that's true. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, I think who do we leave off with? Salim. What is this thing called? This gray thing. Salim, can you can you hear us? Okay. Sounds like he is not there. Uh, S Samuel. Can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Okay, what is this gray thing called? Yes, basket. Perfect, uh huh, good job. Okay, who do we have next then? Vivian, right? Or Vivi? Okay, sounds like she is not there, so back to Bermil. What is this thing called? This big this piece of furniture? Dresser. Yes, good job. Uh huh. Okay, who do we have next? Edmund? What are these called? These three things. And this one. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can anybody help him out? The dresser. Oh, no, no, no. It's a, it's no, a drawer. 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 Uh huh. Good job, guys. Drawer. You got that, Edmund? Drawer. Yeah. Ah, uh, cool. Okay, drawer. Okay, um, who do we have next? Gokan? Yeah. What is this thing called? It's like cabinet. Yep, cabinet. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay, um, let's see. Junaid? Yes. Um, what is this blue thing called? Uh, desk light. Yeah, desk light or desk lamp. Okay. Uh, good job. Okay. Um, uh, Edin, are you there? Er Edin, are you there? Okay, sounds like he's not there. So, Peter, what is this white thing called right here? Uh, outlet. Uh, power strip. Power strip, good job. Yeah, it has outlet. It has multiple outlets on it, so that's why it's called a power strip. Good job. Okay. Um, let's see. Rodrigo, are you there? Yes. What is this blue thing called? A bottle. Yes, water bottle. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. Um, Samuel. What is this white? Um, actually, that's hard to see. What is this thing called? This plastic thing. Bowl. Yeah, these are bowls over here on the left. But what is this thing called? Okay, can anybody help him out? Plastic cap. What? What was that? No cap. Chat. No, no, no. Dishes. It's called here. I'll just help you guys out. It's this one's called tubbleware. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Tubbleware. Uh huh. Oh right. Because this word is this word when it's when it's by itself it's pronounced tuba, but when it's like this when you're talking about this plastic thing it's pronounced tuba or uh, tubbleware. Sorry, tubbleware. Uh huh. 
Tupperware. Tupperware. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Who do we have next? Sophian, can you hear me? Sophian. Okay. I'm um, joined just now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sophian, can can you tell me what this is? I said that I joined you right now, though, so I... Oh, you're not sure? Okay. This, these, this thing, so we have one, two, three, and they're all called mugs. So they can be called cups or mugs. So we have cups, we have mugs. Uh-huh. Okay, I think that's all for this picture. So, um, any questions before I move on to the next one? The happening that is also when a government, uh, the, the the president or the premier, he he has his own um, Ca cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. That's a different kind of cabinet. Yeah, but but right. this is the physical cabinet. That's kind of um. That's like a term, yeah, like you said, a term to describe like the the members or the people that help the president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Captain. Any? Uh, uh huh. Exactly. Any other questions? Uh, I think you put a picture. What they call this picture frame? Oh yes, right here. So we have this is a picture frame, but um, as you, I don't know if you can see it that well. It's not actually a picture. Um, it's it's a it's like a document, like a cert. It's actually a certificate. Mm -hmm. Certificate. Uh -huh. So it, it, you, instead of calling it a picture, um, it's like a framed certificate. Mm -hmm. Good good question, Junaid. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you are saying cup for uh, a lot of things, right? Yes. Cup, so here, I'll, I'll go back to that. So right here, yeah. you have. This yeah. blue thing, you have this red thing, and this black thing. Those are all mugs. And the reason they're called mugs is because they have handles, and they're also made out of... Um, I can't remember the word. It's not glass. They're like, it's not clay. It's... Um, uh, it, they're, like cer they're like ceramics. They're ceramics. Ceramic, yeah, ceramic. ceramics. Yeah. So oh, yeah, those yeah, are yeah. ceramics like that. It's a pottery, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So then these things. See how these don't have handles? They're also made out of plastic, which is why they're called cups. And also, you are using for plates, right? Plates. Uh, yeah. So over here, these are plates. Then you have bowls. So you're not going to call any of these cups. Because oh. you don't drink out of them. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Good question. Any other questions? Uh, uh you said the, about the cutter. <laughs> oh yes. Uh huh. I was going over that quickly because I wasn't sure if you guys knew it or not. But this thing right here. So if you look, um, I have a fork, and then a knife, and then this <laughs> thing is called a cutting board. So that's what you cut on. So if you need, so usually when I cut apples or bananas, I cut it on my cutting board. Cutting board, uh huh. So tubbleware, cutting board. Then these two things right here. It's kind of hard to see them because they're behind the mugs, but these are called containers. They're like like this is a container for almonds, and this is a container for tea. So the word is just called, and also tubbleware can also be called container. So like this could be a cont a tubbleware container, tubbleware container, just like that. Uh huh. Any other questions? Um, let's see. I don't think anybody on chat has any uh, questions. Cool. Okay, so we'll move on to the next picture. Okay, so this one's kind of hard to see because I had my window open and the sun was blaring in and and so I didn't get a good picture, but um, I'll try and explain everything that I can in this picture that you can see. So, 
um, right here. This is called a towel. So that's the towel that I use whenever I go shower or if I need to clean something up. Um, so that's a towel. Like you can call that um, a beach towel or a, just a towel. Then right here, I have my charger, my laptop charger. So if my laptop is about to die, then I plug that into an outlet, then I plug it into my laptop and charge it. Um, then over here, these things that you put your head on, those are called pillows. Pillows, yeah. Pillows, uh huh. Then this top thing, there are multiple names for it. One name is a blanket. So the general term is just blanket. But if you want to be more specific, because it's a thick blanket, I don't know, you can kind of tell from the picture, but it's called a comforter. So yeah, that's comforter, blanket, then you have pillows, laptop charger, towel. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell, but my bed is about three feet off the ground. And I don't know if you can see, um, this. it's like uh, this piece of wood. There's one over here. There's one over here in the corner, one over here. Those, that whole thing is called the bed frame. Yes, so that's the bed frame. So that's what my towel is sitting on. If you can see right here, it's it's on top of one of these wooden posts, and it's on top of the bed frame. So that's that. Then um, over here on the right, we have this is a refrigerator. Uh huh. But um, I spelled that wrong. But more specifically, since it's so tiny, it's called a mini fridge. So yeah, I have a mini fridge. Then right here, yeah, that's fridge. called a microwave. Yeah. So that's that. So I have my mini fridge, my <laughs> microwave, and then I just have some cooking supplies over here. You have a kitchen in your bedroom. I yes, almost. I don't have a stove. <laughs> if only I had a stove or an oven, then it would be a, a complete kitchen. You cooking Marutian? What was that? Martian. You know? Martian. No, Martian. It's like kind of pasta. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I do yeah. have pasta, but um, uh, I don't know. Wait, are you talking about like marinating pasta? Uh, or are you talking about a brand of pasta? Yeah, brand of pasta. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I think, no, I actually have it. A different brand of pasta. It's called uh, Barilla, Barilla, Barilla. I think, like B A R I. I hear it. It's like this. I'll, I'll write it for you. Uh, Bar. It's in Italian, so I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Yeah, all right. You can find it in Walmart. Ah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So, like I was saying, we have pillows, the comforter. Then I don't know if you can see this um, very well, but. This is my roommate's bed, and so he has his comforter. Then this thing right here is thinner, and this can also be called a blanket, but if you want to be more specific, it's called a sheet. So you have your sheet, then you have your comforter, um, you also have pillows, and on top of your pillows, or, or covering your pillows, are your um, pillow cases. So that looks like this. Pillow case. Um, then, normally, I have my, I have something covering the window so that the sun doesn't come in, so that it's not so bright. And those are called blinds because they block out the sun, so they're kind of blinding the sun out. Basically, that's that's what those are called. Which I don't have a a picture, but they're the things that are in front of the window. And you pull a cord, and then they come down. So those are blinds. So now we'll just uh, test you guys real quick on these terms. So um, I don't remember where we left off. Um, I think we got to Samuel. So Vivi, are you there?
No, okay, so we'll go back to Bermil? Yes. Oh, you are, Vivi. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, what is this called right here? Which one? Because my connection is horrible. This is a laptop charger. Yeah, no, this thing right here, more specifically. This. Um. Oh. Starts with a T. So, oh, okay. Do you need help? A towel. Uh, towel, towel. A towel, thank you. Okay, yeah. good job, guys. Yeah. Did you hear that, Vivi? It's a towel. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh huh. Okay, um, so back to Bermil. What is this thing called? This red thing? Blankets. Blankets. And then more specifically, what is it called? I don't remember. Don't. Can anybody help him out? Comfort. Um, Comforter. Comfort. Comforter. Uh huh. Comforter, just like that. Comforter. Com comforter. Uh huh. Good job. What, what's the difference between comforter and uh, um and, and uh, blanket? Uh, uh, blanket? Sheet. A sheet. Yeah. Yeah, so so blanket is anything that that's um that you basically use to cover yourself. So you could use a towel as a blanket. Blanket is just a general term for something that you use maybe when you're cold or you want to cover yourself up. Um that's a blanket, but this is specifically called a comforter because it's thicker and it usually goes on the top of the bed. So that's why it's called the comforter. Is well, it generally, made of a uh, sweater? What what was that? Is it made of sweater? Is it made of sweater? It's um I mean it's usually made of like cotton, I believe. Cotton. Oh, cotton. Yeah, cotton. cotton. And what what was the other question? And we are we are using for comforters like in our country, comforter is heavier than blanket. Here. Yes, exactly. Comforter is heavier than a blanket. Uh huh. I mean, you can call your comforter a blanket, but um, to be more specific, a comforter is a blanket that's heavier or yeah. thicker. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Good job. Okay. Um, who do we have next then? Edmund? Are you there, Edmund? Yeah, okay. So I am used. Okay, what are these things called? Oh, uh, back? No. No. Starts with a P. Uh, Do you need help? P I. Yep, P I. Any ideas? P I L. P I L. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pillow, yes. Pillows. Good job. Pillow. Uh huh. Yeah. So those are pillows. They go under your head when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Um. So next we have Gokan. Yeah. What are these things called that go over the pillows? Um. I forgot. I forgot. You forgot. Can anybody help him out? Okay. Pillowcase, good job. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. <laughs> good job. All right, pillowcases. Uh huh. Okay, who do we have next? Junaid? Or no, we have uh, Ishmael. Right, Ishmael, are you there? Okay, I don't think Ishmael is there. Junaid, are you there? Yes. Okay, so what is this thing called that holds up the bed? So you have four wooden posts. Oh yeah. Yeah. What this is that? Is the bed frame. Bed frame. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. Um. So who do we have next? Um. Uh, we have Peter. Okay. Peter, what is this thing called right here? This white thing. Where? Right here. I'll, I'll zoom in. This thing. What is this thing called? Oh, okay. Uh, um. Starts with an R. That was R. Yeah, there are two words. It's uh, wait. 
Peter. Oh no. no. Do you need some help? Mm, microwave. No, this is the microwave. What is this? Refrigerator. Uh, refrigerator. Oh, refrigerator. Yeah. Uh huh. It's also tiny. called yeah, mini fridge. Good job. Uh huh. Mini fridge, and then microwave right here. Yep. Good. I also forgot to mention one thing. So I don't know if you can see, but there are two circles. One right here and one right here holding up a piece of paper. Those are called magnets. Magnets. Magnet. Uh-huh. So those allow you to hold up things onto your fridge, like this packet of paper. This packet. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let's see. So I think we have, like, two more. Um, Rodrigo, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. What is this thin blanket called? What is this called? Uh, sheet. Yes. Uh-huh. Good job. Sheet. Okay. Uh, Samuel? Hi. What is, um, what is the thing? I don't have a, it's not in the picture. So right here, yeah. Yeah. we have the window. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Hey, blinds. Blinds. Yeah, Samuel, blind. did you get that? Blind? Yeah, blind. Okay, good, good, blind. good. Yep, blinds, uh-huh. <laughs> so those are um, what you put in front of your uh, your window to block yeah. out the sun, blinds. Okay, I think that is all of them. Does anybody have any questions about anything in this picture? Can you focus on Elidum? Focus on what? Can you focus Elidum? Focus a little. Uh, the picture is a little blurry. I, um, I can't focus it any more than this, but I can zoom in if you need me to. Any questions about this? No. Okay. So I do not have any pictures left, but we still have 13 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop screen sharing and instead I'm going to show you guys my webcam and I'm in my room right now so we're just gonna go back to the closet and then I'm going to test you guys one more time um, and have you tell me what each thing is when I point to it so give me one sec I'm going to pick up my laptop and show you guys these things So let me just turn on my light real quick. Okay, so Joseph, when when we mention about uh, blanket and rocks, what what what's the difference between them? Blanket and what? Rock. Rug. Yeah, so, rug. Um, blankets go on beds. Hmm? Rugs go on the ground. Oh. oh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, back to the closet. So, can everybody see this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, what are these things called that hold up the shirts? Hangers. 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 Uh huh. Hangers. Hangers. And then down here, what is that called? The blue thing. The laundry basket. Laundry basket. Uh huh. Good job. And then if we look up, what are those things called? that um, hold my t-shirts and my box. Hangers. No, the, the one, sorry, not the ones that hold the t-shirts. Um, do you see the box at the top? Uh, yeah, shelf. Shelf. Yeah. Shelf. Yeah, uh-huh. Shelf. shelf. Good job. Okay, and then if we move over here, what is this thing called on the wall? Th thermostat. 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 Uh-huh. And then if we look down, what is this thing called? Light switchers. Light, light switchers. Yeah, light switches, or just you could also call it for short, light switch. Light switch. Okay. Uh huh. Switch. Uh, then, um, does anybody? I didn't mention this in the pictures, but does anybody know what this is called? Bookshelf. <laughs> yep. Good job. Huh? Oh, bookshelf. <laughs> I don't know. Just I say it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good guess. Yeah. Okay. So moving over to this side, um, what is this gray thing called? Uh, trash can. Trash can. Waste, waste basket. Waste basket. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. And then, 
Um, what is this piece of furniture called? Disc. No. Uh, Starts dresser? with a D. Yep. Dresser. Good job. Yeah, well. Dresser. Dresser. And then there are three things. What are those called? Drawers. Drawers. Uh huh. And that thing right there with the lock. What is that called? Cabinet. Cabinet. Uh huh. Good job. You guys are doing well. Um. Okay. So, um, what is this? Can you see it? What is that green square called? Uh, cutting board. Cutting board. Cutting board. Uh huh. Yeah, cutting board. Cutting board. And then, what is that red thing called? Mug. 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 Uh huh. And then, the or there are two orange things inside of the mug. What are those called? Cup. Cup. Cups. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, and then what is this thing called right here? Certified frame. Certificate. Yeah, certificate. So, certificate. but it's also a framed certificate. Frame certificate. Okay, um, and then what is this blue thing called? The the blue tall thing. Uh, water bottle. Water, water bottle. Uh huh. Uh, water bottle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, does anybody know what this white thing is called? Black board. Yes, whiteboard. Uh huh. Whiteboard. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then, uh, this thing, this chair right here. What is this called? Rolly chair. Rolly chair. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. And then that brown thing that I put my rolly chair at. Our. 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 No, sorry. Sorry, the brown thing. So like this brown piece of furniture. It's desk uh huh and then that white thing where i plug my uh my laptop power into yeah. power 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 yeah. exactly uh huh good job okay moving over here what is this thing called the uh the, the colorful towel. yep towel, towel. uh huh and then this blanket comfort so comforter comforter, comforter. 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 yeah uh -huh. yes. and yeah. then um what is the thing called that holds up the bed? Bed frame. Bed frame. Uh, bed frame. Uh huh. And then what are these three things called? Pillows. 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 Uh huh. Pillows. And then what goes over the pillows? Pillowcases. Pillowcases. Pillow uh huh. Exactly. Good job, guys. Okay. And then now here's my window. So what's the thing that goes down to pr to block out the sun? Blinds. Blind. 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 Uh-huh. Good. Correct. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I forgot? Oh, actually, there's one thing over here. So, what is this part of the, the door called? Door frame. Door, door frame. Door frame. Door okay. Door frame. Door yep. Frame. Then, um, there, here are some new words that I didn't take pictures of. Um, what is this thing called? Lock. No. Lock. Door, lock. door handle. Door handle. Door handle. So yeah. this thing right here that yeah. you open the door with is the door handle. Door handle. Yeah. This thing, this button you push in is the lock. 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 Yep. Uh huh. And then um, I didn't teach you this word. Can you see that white thing in between the door frame and the door? The locker. Yeah. yeah but it's called a door stop. Yes, and so um, another um, thing, <coughs> important thing to know is uh, this term, which is, so I have this bottle, and if I put it right here, that, does anybody know what that's called, what I just did? No, <laughs> no it's called propping the door open. squeeze the bottle. Here, I'm going to write it for you guys. It's called, um, yeah. so what I did was I propped the door open. So it's called like a door, you could call it a door prop. Like this. I just wrote it on the chat right here. So um, propping the door open. Door prop. Door prop or uh, propping open, propping open the door or propping the door open. You can say it either way. So you might do that. Like, that's very common in college. You prop open your door. That way, when people walk down, they can see you. So, um, we have a few minutes left. 
So I'm going to try and teach you guys a few more words. So this right here, where we're walking, this is called the hallway. Hallway, yeah. Hallway, uh-huh. So um, let's see what else. So here's what the room looks like from if you're walking into it. So, um, Peter, you asked about the word rug. A lot of people sometimes, right in front of the door, they might have a doormat, which is, I guess it's a type of rug. It's more of a mat than a rug, but um, but yeah, that's that. Then over here, we have an exit mm -hmm. sign um, right there. Mm -hmm. if you, I don't know if you guys can see that gray thing. That's a fire extinguisher, yeah. I think. Yeah, we can see. Fire yeah. extinguisher. Uh, fire extinguisher. extinguisher. So if there's a fire... Somebody can put it out. Then mm -hmm. this is, um, what would you call this? Like, a, I think you would call this just like a common area. Yeah. Common area. So it's just like a place where common people area. are hanging out. Yeah. 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 It's at the it's at the end of the hallway. So that's the common area. Um, I don't think there's anything else, any other things I can teach you. Um, I mean, there's the bathroom. Is this the dormitory? Yes, so this is a door. This is what you should, like in the United States um, at the universities. Almost all college students in their freshman year live in dormitories, and these are these are dormitories. Yeah, so that's another word. So mm -hmm. this right here, my room, is called a dormitory. Yeah, and this whole building is called a residence hall. Residence hall. Residence hall. So I'll write that word for you. This, this your your dormitory, dormitory is common. What was that? Your dormitory is common. Common. My dormitory is common. Um, well, dormitories in general are common. Oh. Um, but um, my, I don't know what what's your question exactly. Common. Um, like the the room that I just showed you at the end of the hallway was called the common room. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh huh. So that could be like the common area, the common room. Um, yeah, so that's that. Actually, I mean, I mean, like, uh, there is a one dormitory who, which is really just boys, and then other dormitory. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, so um, it's common to stay in the dorms, um, but there are certain dormitories that are only guys or only boys, and mm -hmm. some that are only girls. Uh, it just depends. Like mine, for example, has oh. both. It just depends on the the university. It also depends on the residence hall. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any any other questions? We have two minutes left. And your dormitory is looking like so comfortable. <laughs> it is very comfortable. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's, it's it's a very nice um, How about dormitory. The, the rent? Is it the rent? Oh boy, it is very expensive. Um, you're, you're you're paying money per month. Um, yeah, the way it works is you usually live in the dormitory for two semesters and you pay per semester. So I think this semester in US dollars, it's about 4500 because it's like brand new because this is wow. the second year. Wow. This is That's the second year that um, this yeah, residence hall fancy. is being used. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's like a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then also another thing I forgot to point out is um, the bathroom. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my room, there's no bathroom. Oh. So the reason for that is because in most dormitories, you have what's called a community bathroom or communal bathroom. Community bathroom, yeah. Yeah, so it's like that. So you, there are like three showers in there, three uh three toilets and so you just share it with the rest of the people that live on your hallway or live on live on your hall so that's another way we say it. like um, like like somebody might say what hall do you live on and then I would say oh I live on a six which is building a floor six so we're at the very top can, can you still live there uh, until you you suffer more Yes, you can live in the dorms at my. It it depends on the university, but at my university, you can live in the dorms until your senior, until your last year, until your oh, senior year. Oh, oh. So, sorry, so what that, is your university name? Uh, the name of the university is the University of Arizona. 
Oh, all right, all right. Which is the same place that Junaith Junaith goes. What do you say? Really? Yes. No. Oh, I, I I didn't go to the University of Arizona. I just visited ah, the university. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Ah, I that's, that's I really cool. To some, but I study sometimes in Pima College. Yeah, cool. oh, okay, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, know. yes. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Time time time. All yeah, right. time. But you can. Do you have one last question? I can answer it before I go. Yeah, actually, I wonder, like, what's the difference between college and university? Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, all right. All right. Thank you. Yep, of course. Okay, guys. Well, thank you all for coming. Thank I really hope know. that helps you guys. And I hope so to see much. you guys all in the future. Have a thank good you very much, Joseph. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. See you guys Thanks later. Thanks for teaching. Of course.